What's up, everyone? I'm John Laird from 101X Homegrown. Today, I'm joined by Nightcap. We've got a show together on Thursday, or I'm sorry, on Friday, July 29th. It's at the parish, the new parish, in case you were thinking it was the old parish. It's not. Don't go to 6th Street. <laughs> go uh, east of 35 to get to the new parish, which used to be the north door. And that's how I know I've just been around and in this too long because the history rambles on forever. Anyways, how are you guys? Doing well. Fantastic. Really good. Really happy to be here. So you've got a new track out and a video. Uh, it's called Sentimental. Tell me about that. Uh, well, Sentimental, that song, we kind of had it for a while and uh, it was kind of just in demo form for a long time. And um, yeah, that song was kind of just written, it was written in an empty house. Honestly, it was uh, the day I was moving out of a house a couple years back and yeah, it's just kind of a time when a lot of things become clearer and you're able to kind of reflect on on all the memories that you've had in a certain place or a certain time frame. And uh, yeah, that one was was written from a place of kind of a turning point. And uh, yeah, I think in having sat on it for, I guess, however, however long that was, it just kind of allowed everything to kind of clarify and uh, yeah, just wrote it out of a, a place of change and coming out of a hard time, but it's like the beginning of a, a new time, I think is what the song feels like for me, but I don't know. It's kind of open to interpretation. It could be a nostalgic vibe. It could be a, you know, a tool to look back upon memories and stuff like that. But yeah, that one was, it was a lot of fun to put together and um, we all kind of came together and re-recorded some of the parts and, and worked with uh, our friend Benji uh, to produce that one. And uh, yeah, happy with, with how it came out. Got a, had a lot of really talented people with us on the team for that one. And, uh, and a, the next two songs actually. Yeah. Nice. So the, the yeah. next two, when, when are those? <laughs> uh, we've uh, got a new one dropping on August 10th. So that okay, one, think, be, yeah, be right around the corner, hopefully. Nice. That's I think great. We just uh, locked that one in. Yeah. So August, August 10th is the official date. So we'll start. This is actually, I think the first time we're publicly talking about it, but we'll start, you know, posting about it, letting people know about it here in the next week or so. We got to figure out artwork, maybe get some video content, do all, all the fun stuff, you know, uh, over the next couple of weeks. That's great. You guys seem to kind of prefer a little bit the, the kind of scattered singles approach more so than, you know, like, steady flow of eps album oh. is that just kind of how it the creative side of things works for you guys or is it just how it has happened no it's that there's definitely some that. background for that one you know <laughs> um that's that's a combination of a lot of things you know i think uh coming out of 2019 into 2020 we were fully ready and, and had the song selected track list made for an album and then obviously um we were hit by a uh you know something that we're all very aware of for about year year and a half and uh <laughs> so that that kind of put us in reset mode and then coming out of that it was okay let's work back towards that because just uh as i'm sure you know there's all these algorithms considerations and things that go into putting out music nowadays uh it's not just putting it out, telling your friends and going to play a show on it. So a little bit of back end strategy there to get something out and get, you know, run up to an album. And then we got put on hold again because we were uh, working uh, to, you know, sign on with, with the team, whether it be management or uh, a label. And um, we finally worked that out. And uh, so now we were back into, okay, let's, let's try out the new group that we're partnered with. Let's, put out a couple singles and work towards something bigger. But uh, I, I know this whole group definitely is, is looking forward to the day that we do the full uh, call it a product or, or album or experience or whatever it is. It's just uh, it, it's, it's kind of just happened this way out of a circumstance for sure. Well then it's good news either way. Cause it just means lots more to come from you guys. Oh yeah. That's right. For yeah. Sure. We're, we're really excited to be putting out, uh sentimental for sure that one's it's been it's been a lot of fun just like 
you know, running the campaign, finally working up the release day, putting it out. And then, you know, we're, we're kind of in, in the mode for Eileen now, the, the next song that's coming out. So that's kind of switching gears, but I mean, it's, it's just nice to be putting out music at a, at a higher pace again, finally. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It, it, now are you, I mean, I guess really it, 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 somewhat for some, it started kind of last summer as most people were like, we're back no matter what, <laughs> but uh, yeah. you know, is the, cause of the roller coaster of variants and all these other things. I certainly don't blame anybody who's been a bit more patient with it. Cause it's like, it's still almost near impossible to commit to things. Like you still see lots of bands canceling tours and um, it's, it's still weird times, not as weird, but still weird. Yeah. yeah a, a new normal, hopefully, um, you know, getting a little bit farther and farther out of it, uh, you know, as each day passes, but it's, it's definitely, um, it's, it's great to be able to play shows to not have some of the red tape and restrictions on, you know, some of the shows that we were playing early in the year. I think, you know, when we book things, we're definitely, more confident that that they'll happen and, and able to you know do things with a little bit more faith that they're uh they're going to turn out the way we want but but by no means is it what it what was you know three years ago for sure and you know hoping i think there's benefits of what what has happened you know for the industry um and i think uh you know things will continue to progress in in a good direction but it's a uh, definitely still a little bit uh strange from time to time a hundred percent uh, well, speaking of shows, the show we have on the 29th at the Parish, I'm really excited for. The last time I saw you guys, weirdly enough, was at the Parish, but again, the old one. So the fact that yep. somehow this circled back around in this way is very odd to me, um, but whatever. Uh, let's start with uh, the support on the show. Angel White, tell me a bit about Angel, because a bit of an enigma. If you Google Angel White, you, it, you're not getting a whole lot back here but you know i know you guys certainly picked angel white for a reason and i want to hear yeah. it he's cool man he's cool <laughs> i mean he's a great guy we've uh we've known him for i don't know it's it's been a while now we, we met him through a friend of ours and he's got a clothing company called communal cowboy and so they're partnered on the show as well and uh and they'll be out they've been we did a merch collab with them but so we met angel through our buddy justin and uh He's just a really kind soul, really creative guy. Happens to be really good at uh, shooting pool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Played a lot of pool. <laughs> Note to self, don't get sharked by Angel White. Um, That's yeah. right. <laughs> we've, uh, we've kind of been waiting for the right opportunity to do a show with him because, um, you know, we've been kind of going to each other's shows for a while and and just kind of supporting one another. So it's it's exciting to get him on a bill and, and be doing a, a full night experience with him. It'd be cool yeah and he's got like, uh, he, he's got an album coming out i'm not sure if yeah i can say that <laughs> <laughs> he's dropping a song on the 29th as well oh so cool yeah it'll be, a, be, be a night of celebration new music um you know from us from him and then that'll be i don't know what a week and a half before we drop eileen so it'll be yeah. just high spirits for sure be a good yeah night. you guys gonna i think he'll be uh oh go ahead uh, so that, I, I think he'll be more Googleable uh, in the very near future. <laughs> Fair oh, yeah. enough. Are you guys gonna play the new tracks at um, at the show, Eileen, and on and on. Yep, that's All the right. plan. There's yeah, a good, there's a good chance. <laughs> <laughs> you wait too many times. Now I don't believe you. Um, well, there it is. It's gonna be a great night. So come out Friday, July 29th at the new parish. Please note that. Don't go to the old one. I'm sure there's still plenty of people wandering over there. Uh, don't show up early to see Angel White, who's got a new single. Stay through the show because Nightcap's got lots of new tracks and great things going on, and you'll want to be a part of all of that. If you need more details, hit up 101x.com. 21 and up can enjoy Carbach Brewing Specials. Otherwise, Nightcap. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you very soon. Thanks for having us, John. See you, Have a good guys.